Inside the PayPal Mafia, How Elon and His Cutthroat Network Rules Silicon Valley. Everyone's aware of and uses PayPal, the pioneering fintech company that revolutionized digital finance during the early days of the internet and launching pad for some of Silicon Valley's most powerful titans such as LinkedIn co-founder Reid Hoffman, everyone's favorite libertarian supervillain Peter Thiel and of course none other than super techno king himself Elon Reeve Musk. But not much is known about its origins and the power players behind it. How did this organization come together and how have its alumni stuck together post-exit to create the most powerful and secretive private club in Silicon Valley? What are the Mafia's end goals for humanity? Keep watching to the end and find out. Origins of PayPal But how did PayPal get its start? It all began with the advent of Palm Pilots or PDAs as they were called at the time. Peter Thiel and co-founder Max Levkin saw the opportunity in these revolutionary devices and devised a way for users to transfer money using the handheld devices by linking them to bank accounts. And thus an entirely new sector known as fintech was born. But unbeknownst to the two founders, there was another similarly-minded entrepreneur named Elon Musk concurrently working on an almost identical system, a fully operational online bank called X.com. The companies competed furiously, with PayPal gaining users quickly by tapping into eBay's user base and offering cash sign-up and referral bonuses but running out of funds. Meanwhile X.com was profitable and had a large financial stockpile. Recognizing their need for each other, the two companies decided to merge in 2000 and, as they say, the rest is history, with Musk becoming chairman of PayPal. Much internal drama ensued afterwards at the company but that's a story for another video. The members of this organization went on to be known as the notorious PayPal Mafia. While there are over 2000 members in this group, here are some of the most prominent ones. Libertarian billionaire Peter Thiel Many have called Peter Thiel the anti-Elon Musk. With strong conservative views, an unusual stance in Silicon Valley and a disdain for government entitlements and a reputation for being ruthless, Thiel quickly built a notorious name for himself. The world-ranked chess player hit his first big score with PayPal, but also invested heavily in companies afterwards such as Palantir and most famously Facebook after his PayPal exit. He also grabbed headlines when he sued and ultimately drove the publication Gorka out of business as revenge for writing an expose on his homosexuality by funding Hulk Hogan's defamation lawsuit. Fellow attendees of Stanford, Thiel and Musk most recently worked together when they joined President Donald Trump's Economic Advisory Council shortly after his appointment, to much controversy. Thiel is also famous for obtaining New Zealand citizenship and allegedly building a nuclear bunker there in case of World War III. Another rumor spread about his desire to transfuse the blood of young males into his body to gain youthfulness and reverse aging. The company conducting this experiment, Ambrosia publicly denied his involvement. Thiel was most recently in the news for funding and starting a new sports league with athletes that use steroids and performance-enhancing drugs. LinkedIn co-founder Reid Hoffman Another Stanford alum, Reid Hoffman is most famous for being the executive chairman and co-founder of business social network LinkedIn. After the sale of PayPal to eBay and his exit, Hoffman joined Greylock Partners and became a prolific venture capitalist, even securing his claim to fame as the facilitator of the meeting between Mark Zuckerberg and Peter Thiel and also as one of the angel investors in Facebook. Hoffman co-founded LinkedIn with several friends from his previous companies and launched the site in 2003. In 2016 Microsoft acquired LinkedIn and Hoffman became a Microsoft board member afterwards. More recently Hoffman was one of the founding investors in the hottest company in AI, OpenAI. Currently Greylock and Hoffman are heavily invested in several AI companies, betting big on this new technology trend. He is not an advocate of pausing AI development and research due to ethical considerations, publicly stating that he finds it foolish. Technical genius Max Levkin one of the more technically-minded engineers and low-profile members of the PayPal Mafia, Max Levkin went on to found several other companies post-PayPal including Slide, where he served as the Vice President of Engineering. Slide was later sold to Google for $182 million. Levkin was also one of the largest and earliest investors in Yelp, where he served on the Board of Directors. Levkin also held a stint on Yahoo's board of directors and also worked in government by being the only Silicon Valley executive on the advisory board for the Consumer Financial Protection Bureau. Following this political inclination and interest in government, Levkin also served as one of the contributors to Forward.us, 
a Silicon Valley lobbying group led by Mark Zuckerberg that aims to protect the interests of Silicon Valley, mainly in the areas of immigration for high-skill workers, education, and public technology-driven initiatives. One of Levkin's more controversial takes is his public defense of the NSA and its unauthorized surveillance of American citizens, which he believes is justified in the name of national security. Techno King of Mars, Elon Musk The world's richest man, Elon Musk is by all accounts the ringleader of the PayPal Mafia. Even though he was ousted as CEO of PayPal over a disagreement on the operating system of the PayPal servers, Musk retained the largest ownership share of the company. How did PayPal set him up for success? Soon after his exit from the company, Musk set his sights on an impossible moonshot goal of starting a rocket company that would take human life to Mars. He then decided to start a renewable energy car company named after famed scientist Nikola Tesla, seemingly taking on more than he could chew. Both companies neared the edge of bankruptcy several times but that's where his network came in handy. Thiel and several other PayPal Mafia members like David Sachs made timely investments in SpaceX and Tesla, giving Musk easy access to capital during hard times to keep his venture going. We also got a peek into Musk's inner circle when the FTX text messages leaked in his lawsuit. From these documents, we can see that Sachs, Thiel and other PayPal Mafia members were often in contact with him regarding securing financing for Tesla as well as acting as advisors and sounding boards for his business decisions. Many of the PayPal Mafia members are involved in venture capital investing, making them the perfect network to support tech entrepreneurship. If you're finding this video entertaining and insightful, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe for more thought-provoking content. South African venture capitalist Roloff Bota Apart from his involvement in PayPal, BC Bota shares his South African heritage and Stanford education with Elon Musk. At PayPal Roloff was the CFO and prior to that he worked as a business analyst at the McKinsey firm. While at Stanford Business School Roloff became Director of Corporate Development for PayPal and then subsequently CFO, eventually leaving to join famed firm Sequoia Capital as a VC. At Sequoia he was involved in investments with YouTube, Instagram and Square to name a few. In 2022 Bota replaced Doug Leone as senior steward of Sequoia's global brand and operations. It seems Bota is more a sales and business type as well as someone that knows how to crunch numbers and plan financial moves rather than a pure engineer like Elon or Max. It's also interesting to note, his father was a South African politician, the last foreign minister under the apartheid regime and the first minister of energy affairs under Nelson Mandela. What does the future hold for this enigmatic figure? YouTube co-founders Chad Hurley, Steve Chen and Jawad Karim. No one wants to remain a one-trick pony. That's why Chad Hurley, Steve Chen and Jawad Karim went on to found the hugely successful YouTube after the PayPal exit. The three met and first began working together as early employees at PayPal, with Chen becoming the chief technology officer of the pioneering fintech company. Jawad Karim was famously featured in the first video ever posted to YouTube titled Me at the Zoo. Thanks to this decision by the trio the world is now able to enjoy millions of hours of content such as this very video you're watching right now, free of charge. So we all owe them a debt of gratitude. Thanks guys. Yelp co-founders Jeremy Stoppelman and Russell Simmons. Another household name application and website founded by PayPal alums is Yelp. After joining X as a software engineer, Stoppelman became close with Max Levkin, who later invested in his venture Yelp, which was also aided by Levkin's business incubator MRL Ventures. But what sparked the idea for Yelp? In the summer of 2004 Stoppelman fell ill with the flu and was unable to find recommendations for a doctor. At that moment Yelp was born. He took the idea to his co-worker at MRL Ventures, Russell Simmons, and the two decided to pitch the idea to Levkin for funding. The company ended up growing to a $4 billion market cap and the rest is history. Ambassador Kenny Howery The CFO of PayPal, Ken Howery has lived quite an exciting life post-tech success outside Silicon Valley. In addition to exiting from PayPal and cashing out with a significant payday, he founded VC firm The Founders Fund with Peter Thiel and Luke Nosek. Howery was selected as a young global leader by the World Economic Forum and also appointed ambassador to Sweden by President Donald Trump, serving during his administration. Howery currently has a net worth of $1.5 billion. Bestie David Sachs David Sachs, 
a fellow South African-born entrepreneur, got his start as a consultant at McKinsey before joining PayPal. As chief operating officer, he helped build many of the company's products and oversaw key teams. Post PayPal Sachs was a co-founder of several companies including Genie.com and Yama. He now spends most of his time angel investing and starring as one of the besties on popular entrepreneurship podcast The All In Podcast. Sachs is also known for his conservative political views alongside fellow PayPal Mafia member Peter Thiel. Sachs also spent time as a Hollywood producer, producing the hit Thank You For Smoking and more recently has bought the rights with fellow PayPal Mafia member Jack Selby to the PayPal movie based off the book by Jimmy Sony, The Founders, The Story of PayPal and the Entrepreneurs Who Shaped Silicon Valley. Honorary Members Apart from the main PayPal Mafia members, there are some other equally powerful friends of the group that are part of their extended network. First we have the other besties from the All In podcast. Chumath Palahapatia, Jason Calacanis, and David Friedberg. These VCs and former early tech giant employees have taken the mantle as the biggest VC podcast on the internet. Chumath was also a part owner of the Warriors until recently. Other friends of the Mafia are OpenAI founder Sam Altman, who received advice from Musk as he launched OpenAI and Twitter founder Jack Dorsey, whom Musk affectionately refers to as Jack Jack. The two also bonded heavily over their interest in Bitcoin and the power of the blockchain. Additional members are Larry Page and Sergey Brin, who are close personal friends with Musk and fellow Stanfordites. Ironically, Elon is suing OpenAI and Altman over OpenAI's switch from non-profit to private company. I guess friends make even better enemies in Silicon Valley. Special source. With all this success, influence and power, it begs us to ask the question, what made this group so special? We have a mix of higher education, geographical location and the willingness to take risk and exist on the cutting edge. These workaholics were part of a very unique company culture with very specific hiring practices. Max Levkin recounts how Peter Thiel sat him down and asked him to write down the name of every smart person he knew. Levkin ended up writing down 30 names, and out of that 30, about 24 ended up working at PayPal. They repeated this process several times to fill out the hires on the rest of the teams. The hires were chosen based off very specific criteria. They searched for people who spoke multiple languages, people from the Midwest, avoided, MBAs, frat bros and jocks and famously anyone who played basketball because as Levkin famously said, everyone he knew that played basketball for fun was an idiot. This was a group who was highly competitive and masculine but who duped it out over ping pong tables or in chess matches rather than athletically. This type of competition could also be unhealthy at times. Elon Musk in a Fortune article once revealed that the environment at PayPal was very contentious and felt like an intellectual pissing contest. They were a geeky group of workaholics who didn't get girls and had a chip on their shoulder intellectually, the perfect group to create a revolutionary tech company how Elon uses the Mafia to stay in power. So how does Elon wield his position as the leader of the Mafia to stay in power? Ultimately, success in Silicon Valley and startups in general often revolves around access to capital. While Elon did fund the majority of the early costs for both SpaceX and Tesla, he still had moments where both companies were on the brink of insolvency. Due to his network of well-heeled and well-connected alumni, he was able to maintain control of both companies and avert disaster. Capital is also a barrier to widespread growth and adoptions, so many companies don't stand a chance without that type of access to VC funding. The Valley also operates as an ecosystem where acquisitions for early startups are commons, so oftentimes early stage founders will get acquired and bought out of their own companies by bigger companies run by people like PayPal Mafia members. That's how this group has been able to have their fingerprints on practically every major innovation coming out of Silicon Valley. After all, it's a very small town and you always have to follow the money. Conclusion Well there you have it. As you can see the PayPal Mafia are a very eclectic and forward-thinking bunch. They're highly motivated and gifted and work relentlessly to shape the future of technology and the world. And they did it together, leveraging their expertise to make an unstoppable brain trust. Many of them have partnered with the government while the fingerprints of the others can be seen all over Silicon Valley. They've managed to control the direction of society through technological innovation. And they can make colossal things happen with a phone call, as well as gain counsel from the world's brightest minds. Are their intentions for the world good? Let's hope so. If you'd like to gain financial freedom and securely own your own cryptocurrency please support this channel and click below to purchase a Trezor cold storage wallet and join Gemini, the world's most trusted exchange.
If you're interested in this video and Elon's other business endeavors, click on the video above for another deep dive into his entrepreneurial journey. For all the latest Elon Musk news and Elon Musk related content stay tuned to Elon Musk News Network, your number one source for all things Elon Musk. Thanks and bye now.